Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will highlight how to chain margins, slugs and bleed. On the screen, you can see these three lines lying on the page. So what are these lines? This red line indicates the bleed area, this blue line indicates slug and the pink lines indicate margins. By the way, if you want to know what are margins, why do we use them? There is a separate tutorial explaining margins in detail. The link has appeared at the card above. I would recommend you to watch that, learn some basics and come back to this tutorial. Let's get back to where we were. So how to change the margins, slugs and bleed? It's very simple. Go to file and click document setup. So this new window will appear on your screen with all these useful options. This includes page size, orientation, but most importantly, margins, bleed and slugs. This is the area for margins and this is the area for bleed and slugs. So, the slug area is set to 0.25 inch, bleed area is set to 0.5 inch and the margins are set to 0.5 inch as well. You can click on the preview if you want to see real-time changes along with changing the setting values. Let's change the bleed value to 1 inch. As you can see that the pink margins have expanded to 1 inch on the page. Let us change the bleed value from 0.5 inch to 0.75 inch. And slug value from 0.25 inch to 1 inch. To identify the changes, click on preview. Now see the difference. This is before. This is after. Press OK. The good part is that these bleeds, margins and slugs will be applied to all the pages automatically inside Adobe InDesign. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Please do subscribe to my channel, have a nice day and peace.